Good evening, everyone. In today's news, Danny Ocean was deported. We have an interview with the EMS about how to stay safe with the current weather conditions. We then have an interview with the head sheriff with Head Sheriff Street. We'll end with the weather forecast. Stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. First up, Danny Ocean was deported. Joe is on scene. Thank you, Jaden. Right here is where Danny Ocean used to work. And, you know, as you can see, this place looks pretty clean, but if we go inside here, we can see some some drugs here. Um, he was deported for um, having illegal weapon attachments. Um, he crafted his weapons here over at the mechanic shop, or over at the workbench over here. My apologies. We go over here to a workshop over here. We also have word that he um, did it right over here. You got it right over here. So, um, yeah. Back to you, Jaden. Thank you, Joe. After a quick commercial break, we're going to get into how you can stay safe in the snow. Stay tuned. This report is brought to you by the BCSO. To let you know, they are looking to hire and rebuild a strong roster of the strongest, finest deputies out there. Training may be tough, but it will give you the skills and knowledge to become a great deputy. Here at the BCSO, we are a family and will always have our brothers and sisters back. Consider applying today. Unfortunately, that ad was made for and paid for by Smith Wesson. May he rest in peace. First up from the interview is a quite funny story about Bo, the chief medical director. Because we were a little, a little busy. So we had a patient there Dan looked at and uh, yeah, let's just say uh, that patient had explosive diarrhea. Oh so, my gosh. Oh, Oh, God. That is certainly a disgusting bet to lose. Not sure how I would feel if I was the patient who had said explosive diarrhea. With, with that being said, not my problem. Next up, information about MedV helicopters. I mean, next thing you know, you got a blinded blizzard. And so I make sure each and every single one of my personnel is trained to fly over and over and over again. You know, exercises for days in and out, classrooms that are like eight to ten hours long. I make sure that each of them are well trained. That would certainly suck to be in those eight to ten hour sessions of training. With that being said, you know, he's doing what he has to do. And I can respect that. I'm gonna say yes, there has been an increase in accidents. I believe the snow kind of came out of nowhere, so no one really uh, checked their tires. Uh, a lot of people have ball tires or aren't properly uh, salting their pavement. We actually got a few calls that people are sleeping, falling right outside their front doors because they're not prepared. That certainly is sad that, you know, um, we're not really prepared for snow like this. With that being said, you know, it's here. So we, need to, we, need to, we need to start getting prepared. Um, next up, we're going to learn how we can stay prepared. Definitely there's, there's chains that people can put up into their tires. There's even snow tires that you can put onto your own vehicles. And like I always say, pay attention to your radio systems. Uh, your government officials will definitely tell you if the stay home is weather conditions are way too bad. So the safest way probably be stay home unless you need to go outside. All right, guys, you heard it here from Bo. You know, you probably should stay inside as much as you possibly can. With that being said, if you are going to go outside um, and drive, you should consider upgrading your tires. I would like to include, please get your emergency kits ready. Uh, with the snow like this, you never know when the weather can change. Uh, blizzards and power outages may happen, so you may find yourself without warmth in your home. So prepare lots of blankets, flashlight batteries, and candles if need be. You guys heard it here first on how you can stay safe in the snow. I certainly will, will be getting my emergency kits ready. After a quick commercial break, we're going to get into the weather forecast. Stay tuned. If you haven't taken the chance to visit the Los Santos Gallery, you're missing out. Not only is the gallery the pinnacle of art and beauty that resembles our wonderful city, but a true sight to behold for those who truly appreciate the world of art. The gallery's appreciation extends beyond that of pictured art, but also to the locals of Los Santos. We accept beloved jewels and well-worn watches, giving gratitude back to the city by paying for your donations. Don't miss out on this opportunity to share your love of art. Visit the gallery today. Next up is our interview with the sheriff. Doesn't matter if it's a nice car or a 
horrible car. If you're doing something wrong, I'm gonna get you. You guys hear it, heard it here. If you break the law, that's that. There's no excuses, no nothing. Next up, the share of future plans. I plan on rebuilding my roster. As of right now, I had to um, clean house, per se, and bring in some new, better, more lower recruits to the BCSO family, and that's all in the process right now. Based off of this information and my relationship with the BCSO, I know that the sheriff is looking for lower recruits. I also know the sheriff's dedication for such. Next up is a special announcement by the sheriff. A truck and off-road cruise and off-road <clears throat> race with the prize winner, of course. This truck event will be happening tomorrow, December 3rd. I certainly know that I will be there for the, at least the cruise section of it. The sheriff wanted me to remind you to check your emails for information about how you can apply today. Next up is the weather. Alright everyone, we have the weather forecast here with Joe. It's snowing. Thank you Joe. And thank everyone here for watching tonight's broadcast.